Uh, hello everybody and welcome back to some Feed the Beast Revelations. How you guys doing today? I hope you are doing well. I am. So, last episode we made our tools. Got in some power and stuff like that. I think that's what it was. It's been a while since we recorded an episode, but I have been in here doing some work. Um... We are, our old hole is right there. Uh, I have built us a new hole. Uh, nothing fancy. Uh, just a big hole. Uh, I've got a room set up that I'm going to do some of our, this will probably be mostly Batania stuff in. Um, and then I started going towards a basement. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, so today what are we going to do well i got a few things i want to do first we're going to work on our angel ring um of course we can't get too far into it but i'd like to get at least as far as getting to the ring of the flying squid to where all we need to do is get the gas um so that's one thing we're going to do um i need to make a golden lasso and we need to go find us a chicken. Uh, we do have jetpacks in this, and I need to fix my journey map. Alright, that's all fixed. I see some chickens over here. And of course, we're not going to be able to use this just yet. We'll have to get into a little bit of grid power. Where are you at there, chicken? He disappeared. He disappeared. So now we got to find. Whoops. Now we've got to find another one, and it's fixing to be nighttime. We can take care of that. No, I still see this chicken. There he is. All right, so we've got him. go to sleep oh this thing I tell you what it has been going off all day long um so but yeah other than the building I really haven't done a whole lot of anything other than just doing this getting everything moved over uh, still got to find I, I, I still got I mean we, up, we added more storage um, but still need it still needs some work all right so our chicken ring we need two of these So there is that. Of course, we don't have any grid power. So we need to look at making some. So, first things first. We need, um, no, let's go with the, we got to need solars first. We can make the solars from extra utilities. It's polished stone and lapis and that. We should have all those bases covered um, we need some stone which I probably don't have we're going to have to not those that probably going to have to smelt them um, let's double check to make sure I don't have any because I remember cooking some up we do have some All right, and solar panels. That would give us nine. Um, and for now, we'll just place them right out here. Uh, we won't use these very long. 
it's just enough for us to do what we need now so with this ring basically what it does is it allows us to fall without dying um, we can just kind of glide down so not too bad now we can get us a squid which I think I seen there is squid over here I don't understand how there's squid in this but you know whatever uh, we are going to need some ink sacks how many did that give us that give us one I don't think that's going to be enough for what we need all right so we're back I have those ink sacks that we need we need two diamonds and we're going to need uh, two diamonds and a ender pearl. There we go. We have, but well, we don't have enough grid power to use it. So we need to look at something else. We'll go ahead and make us a water mill. Uh, and this will give us some really early game flight so we need stone burnt which means we're going to need a resignator which we should be able to do all the above so let's get none of those so there's that we need uh, five pieces of iron it's going to wind up being one of those days where I don't get to do what I wanted to do today. I'm going to get sidetracked. So there is our resignator. We place this down. We can use that on the polished stone. We should have the grid power for this. There we go. Alright, so that's going to go. Um... I did get some aquamarines. We can put the lapis up. Sand dirt. Oh, well, I don't want to put all this stuff in here. Uh, squid we don't need. That we don't need. That we're going to need. Alright, so we're going to let that go. We need six of those. And then we need to make... these meals so there are sticks there's some redstone torches there's our two gears uh, and we're going to need one resignating the thingy one of these and that should be enough for what we need. I'm also going to need a bucket. Have I even made a bucket? We got a bucket. It's all those. There we go. There is our meal. We take this. We'll place it right here. And let's get our water. We want it to be flowing water on all four sides to get the max out of it. There we go. That should be producing. Why is it not showing? Oh, I put the wrong thing in there. That's why. That. So now we're producing 25 grid power. And we should be able to use our ring. And with this, we've got a little bit of early game flight to get us around. Simple as that. Um, not real hard to get into, but there we go. 
All right, one of the other things I wanted to do is I wanted to go in and check out the nether today. And I needed some more obsidian, and I just happened to come across the bat we're going to need in order to make our actual angel ring. So I don't have to fight with that. All right, so I've got some flint and steel. We've got our obsidian. So let us set up our portal. We're going to set it up just right here with our other portal where it's not in our way and we don't have to listen to it. So there's that. There's that. Let us head inside. Alright, so we are here, and I just caught on fire. Oh, it's these. Oh, I don't want those in my inventory. What a crappy place to spawn. Um, so I don't see much right here close. Um, we've got bone blocks. Uh, we need to do that and let's see what we can get into so I don't see any kind of nether ores outside of the normal stuff I do see a bat Um, but I did see some draconic or some draconium and if I don't quit right there wait okay I don't have it in and yeah that sucked alright so we need to find us something way through here um, we need a fortress this is kind of a crappy uh, spawn we got here that's nice to see um Yeah, there's there's no good way around this, really. I don't know. That shouldn't be anything. I think I see the Nether Fortress over there. Oh no 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 no! Uh, it's a good thing that our this is set in a uh, chunk loaded area because I've or it spawned because I forgot to chunk load that area so there is some of those power crystals I'm not necessarily worried about those I'm not a big fan of deep resonance as far as any kind of use for power believe we can actually yeah we can actually mine cobalt and ardite with what we've got all right let's head up nothing up here And let's have a look around to see what we can get into. Nothing that way. Found some nether wart. I see a chest too. Uh, gears? That's weird that they're spinning. Uh, drill core we don't need. 
it doesn't look like there's much down this way I would love to be able to get a drop of evil while we're just kind of messing around here uh, there is a blaze farm Uh, let's go down here and grab some of this glowstone. Oh! Uh, he just might kill me. Alright, I got him. Uh, we got some Terra V from him. There's some more Draconium. We'll take all that we can get. Uh, oh yeah, that's what I'm looking for. It's him right there. And now I'm on fire. Come on down here. And we didn't get it. But there is another one over here. Get away from those guys so they don't see us. Give me my drop of evil. Uh, quit catching on fire. No drop of evil. Oh yeah, just got the drop of evil. Come back around here. Oh, there's a bunch of them right here. If I could get one more, that would be great. Uh, that will give us enough to do a mob farm and to make our cursed lasso. Uh, that was the one we've already looked in. Alright, another chest. We've got a potion wand. I'm not worried about displacement wand. Uh, none of those are any good to me. Uh, then there was another chest right here. Uh, iridium, I'm not sure if we'll need it. I don't know how much industrial craft we'll do. Uh, we'll probably do a little bit at least. Oh. So now we're on to just keep on keeping on. Oh, wait, there's another chest. Uh, I'll take those. Some tin we don't necessarily need. Got a couple more here. Um, ruins, I don't think those are actually good any for anything. Uh, I will take the illumination wand. Does this use power or is it XP? Uh, doesn't say. I don't remember what the configs for it was. Um, take that, that. There's another one of those wands we don't need. I will take that. And another chest. We got some dark boots. All right, so we're back. We're back home. Uh, I got one drop of evil, and that was it. Uh, but we did get a lot of other goodies. So that is great. Um, we got what we need to get a mob farm going. We may probably work on that next episode. Uh, that might be the plan. Uh, so, but now, I need to clean out my inventory. Alright, so we're back. So, I would like to get started with at least a little bit of Thaumcraft today. Um, I'd like to get us to the point where I can start doing some of the research. Um, 
because that's going to be just a lot of stuff that we have to do uh, off camera. Uh, it really is. I had some books. What did I do with them? Uh, that's not it. Well, what did I do with them? Huh. I had them in my inventory the whole time. Alright, so. A couple things we're going to need. First off, we need us a bookshelf. There we go. We're going to need that. We are also going to need a crafting table. And then we're going to need to make some Salus Mundus. We should be able to make this now. Uh, it's not going to work. Uh, we need a... What is... We need a Salus Mundus. We need a bowl. So there is a bowl. Flint that let's go ahead and make well it'll be four of these um do two more there we go that's got us our salus mundus and we can use this on the bookshelf and that give us our thumbonomonomicon and then we can use it on the crafting bench. Oh, we can't do it just yet. We've got to learn about that. So let's do this. Arcane workbench. Now we should be able to do this. There we go. There is our crafting bench. That's actually quite a bit of V that was in this area. Uh, let's go ahead and just leave it right here for right now so we can craft our uh, thermometer. Uh, so we're going to need four pieces of gold and a piece of glass. And I think I threw away all the glass when I was con. Uh, threw away everything. Uh, there's some sand. That's not going to be enough because to get that we're going to need a glass pane I do believe. Uh, it's not going to show us the recipe for that. We've got to go in here. Let's complete that. Yeah we need a glass pane. So I need to get some more sand. not hard to do we can just run out the back door here right quick there we go and we can throw these in here all right so we are back I've got our glass that we are going to need to do this so glass to glass panes are four Oop. Four pieces of gold, one glass pane. That gives us a thermometer. We can now scan stuff and learn all kinds of goodies. And this will give us a bunch of research. There's two different kinds of research. There's scanning and then there's re uh, actual research that we've got to do which we will do want to try to get that set up here in just a second so there we go that's all of that so if we look in our thumbnomonomicon we've got types of knowledge you can see we've got observations we've got a bunch of that stuff taken care of uh, and then we also have theories which we need to make a research table which we can do pretty easy. It's not really that hard to do. It does not have to be made with great wood. I just happen to have a bunch of great wood planks. 
So there we go. There is our great wood table. We place it down right there. And then we need to make scribing tools. And in order to make scribing tools, we need just a glass bottle, a feather, and some dye. We should have all the above in here. I think I still have still have a feather left. We've got ink sacks that I put in here somewhere. I just don't remember where. There we go. And then we're going to need some more glass. All right, so there is our glass. Make us some bottles. That and that. Now we've got our scribing tools. Should be able to right click with, whoa. And there we go. We can create theories as long as we've got paper. And I don't think we've got, we've got two paper. Uh, there's a bit of sugar cane. I don't want to use all of that. Um, what do we have out the door here? Uh, we've got some more sugar cane we can get. We got sugar cane everywhere. We're going to need... Um, that might be enough to get us one so I can show you all kind of how to do this. So basically, I need to, how auto jump got turned back on, I don't know. Uh, so, we can throw our paper up in here. We can create theory. Click on the thing. And, of course, this is not going to give us a whole lot of of choices because we don't have we're not very far into this um, so basically it's just kind of a turn-based thing we just do that as we go along it will unlock um, resort research categories for us and we've run out of paper So there we go we got some more paper and of course we're not unlocking a whole lot as we go uh, it just kind of takes some time in order to do this uh, but this teaches us now we can make of course it shows Salus Mundus the thermometer shows us how to make arcane stone and then the arcane stone bricks uh, that's knowledge we can complete that um, and then we can start getting into, it tells us we can look at the sky. Uh, we don't have any paper or scribing tools in order to do that right now. But now we can get into the actual part. We can get into making our car, uh, our crucible. Uh, once we get that done, other stuff will start to unlock as we go. And we can get deeper and deeper into this. So, but with that, that's all i got time for today. So, we got some early game flight. We got made a trip to the nether, and we got our basics of Thumbcraft started. So, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!